Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos I make for data science and machine learning. So today's topic is all about the functions in Python and Julia. So first, I'll show the functions, how the functions looks like in Python, how to create the functions and different different things of a function. So on a basic level, you will understand in Python the same thing I'll implement in Julia so that you'll have an understanding of both the languages. So whenever you'll face uh, this uh, sort of challenges to write the code in Julia and Python, you can just uh, refer to these notebooks. Okay, I'll definitely I'll give those notebooks inside in the description of the video. So what is the function is all about? So if you can write it like this, so function is basically you're creating a module. You're not going to write that module all the time. So basically it's a module. Okay, so it's a module which you can refer, refer many times. Which you can refer many, many times. Like you don't have to write that code. Suppose for an example, this is a simple function. This is a simple function, the whole thing. It just prints the my name, Shomu Roy. You can put your name also. So it just uh, like give the, it just uh, printing the name. That's the only thing for this particular function. It's like a print statement, but I write it in a function way so that it's easy to understand for you. Okay, so if I just clear it, and if I just try to run this, how does it work? So if I just run this function, so I'm just created the function, right? There is no any output right now for this function. To get the output out of that particular function, what you have to do, you have to just uh, use the function name and you have to use the first two brackets. Okay, only then it will work. Otherwise, it is not going to work. So suppose I just uh, use the function name and if I just remove these two and write it, then it is not going to show the output. It just going to show that there is a main function is there which is about to ex uh, like, uh, execute, but it's not been executed yet. So for, to execute that particular function, you have to use the first parenthesis, right? If you just run this cell, you can see that it's just showing the output, okay? So here I return that particular name as a string value, okay? So I can save that particular uh, value also. So if I just want to save that name in a variable, I can just put it like this, so name, equals to this okay in that case what happened is that it will not show any output but it will show that in a uh, like it just going to save that in the name variable so if i want to see the name i can print that name okay if i just run this then you can see that i can see the output right now so in this way the return function works okay at the same time also i can do the print like in that case, I don't have to return anything. Okay. So for that, what I'll do, I'll just uh, like, I just show you. If I just copy this whole thing and paste it here. So instead of return, I'm going to print. Print that name. Okay. So if I just run this cell and if I just run this particular function, okay, in that case, I don't have to. Uh, like it is going to give the same thing so the null name is coming right now. but if i want to try to uh, save that particular thing as a name in a particular variable we shall not be able to do that so if i just try to run the same cell it's showing the output but if i want to print the name it should not be to give none because there is no value is returned out of it so that's the functionality of return in a function so it's a very beautiful thing, like using this particular return variable, I can return many, many different kinds of things and you can refer to different different variables and which you can use in your programming journey basically. Okay, so these are two parts which I, I have to show. And one is, uh, I have already shown you the print part. Okay, another one I've shown you is the return part. So how, now I'm going to show you how to give the comments in a function. So suppose you write that particular function. 
okay and you send that particular code to some other person but uh, he do not know uh, like it's if it said the function is very big he do not know nothing else about it although it's a very simple function to understand but sometimes happen is it's a very big function a lot of variables a lot of different different things so the person you are sending that particular code that he will not understand or she will not understand that so in that case what you can do is that you can just put a comment in the function so that he can understand what the function is all about so in python you can use the uh, like parentheses like three parentheses and put your statement over there so it will save it in the function so whenever uh, they want to see the what is the about section of this function uh, they are able to refer to that so if i quickly show you this uh, okay okay so it's already there uh, yeah so it's already there so you can see this if i already have run this function right so if i can run this and if i just try to write help okay there is a help method is there function is there so if i just run this okay okay this function prints my name okay it just show you the about section this function prints my name say so what is it's all about this particular function okay that is what it show so the same thing you can also do in julia also so if i go to the julia notebook you can see that a similar kind of structure in julia the only difference is that that comment section is above that particular function like you have to use the add block then you have to use the three parentheses and put that statement okay then over there you can return or print anything you want and at the end you have to use the end to close that loop basically close that uh, index session index so in python you don't have to use any kind of end at the end but in julia you have to write it like this so if i run this cell it's just create that function so if i want to call this function it's just uh, returning uh, my name okay. and if i want to see the output what's the it's all about in julia you have to use the add block and then the function name instead of help so it prints my name so in this way the you can create the function in python and julia okay so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos i make so i'll see you soon with more iterations of functions and how it's going to work in both languages thank you for watching my video thanks